Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. The Treaty of Severus, the United Independent Armenia, has been recognized. The hero of Artsakh, Leonid Asgaldian, Yerevan urged Baku not to distort the historical facts. The issue of preservation on Armenian cultural heritage in China, issues on the history of Shirvan, exhibitions of Cesar Orbelian's palace have been completed. A book that presents the atrocities of Baku against the monuments of Artsakh. The Turkish Pact was signed in Severus, which also recognized the united and independent Armenia, said Mr. President Armenak Abrahamian. Thus, according to him, favorable conditions were created for us, and we had the opportunity to ensure justice for Armenians after the genocide in Western Armenia. Since the formation of the Legion of the Star in Armenia, volunteers have understood very well that international agreements and promises become reality only by force of arms, that the situation there was largely determined by the relation between Russia and Kemal Turkey. In 1992, on June 21, Leonidas Galdian, the hero of Artsakh, was the victim of shooting near Arton Nashem, village of Martakert region. Leonid Asgaldian, a physics military figure, hero of Artsakh Liberation War. He was born in 1942 in Tiflis in the family of Ruben Asgaldian, who moved from Gamo. In 1947-1959, he studied in the Yerevan School of Moravian. In 1960, he studied at Lomonosov Moscow State University Faculty of Physics, and later he went to the relevant faculty of Yerevan State University and excellently graduated it with a degree in radio physics. Worked in various fields of national economy, dealt with planning methodology, and management system and on issues of automated system of scientific studies. Worked in the computing center of the state plan in different periods. He held positions in the scientific and production association of laser technology, positions of the head of the system programming and computer engineering department of Yerevan branch of the energy research and production association and all union scientific research institute of atomic power plants. From the beginning of the Karabakh movement, Asgaldian, as a leading military figure, took part in the national liberation struggle, had an active role in protecting the nation's values and dignity. From February 1919, he held the command of the independent army, organized the self-defense of a number of regions, especially of Artinis, take part in liberation battles, including especially the first attack in New Vedi. And after the bloody provocation of the station and Soviet Russian on May 27 planned and implemented the obstruction of the penetration of Soviet troops into Yerevan. In 1991, June, together with Hovsep Hovsepian, he created the Liberation Army military organization in order to give new force to Artsakh Liberation War, which if only in the sense of coordinating the efforts of Armenia, Artsakh diaspora was a new quality in the chain of movement dedicated to the Armenian people's struggle for existence and whose chief commander remained until the end of his life. The next topic is on the distortion of historical facts by Baku. Yerevan urged Baku not to distort the historical facts. The Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sports officially denies the publications in various media platforms of Baku as if the repair and restoration works of immovable monuments of Armenian history and culture located in the demarcation areas between Eastern Armenia and Baku are aimed at eliminating Egvenian traces. Such information is an obvious lie. Baku's policy of falsifying historical facts the message. The ministry has published a list of churches that are being renovated or will renovate it. The church of Kiran's village in Tavush region was built in the 19th century from local rough stone and is a three nave basilica Armenian church. The record in the upper part of the window of the southern depository confirming the fact of being Armenian has been preserved. The central dome church of Voskepar in Tavush region was built in the 7th century. It belongs to the master type structures of early medieval Armenian church architecture. The early medieval church of Voskepar underwent major repairs in 1975 1977. The early Christian temple of Yeruik of Shirak region, which was also targeted by the Baku's information propaganda and falsely presented as a Turkish monument, is included in UNESCO's preliminary list of world cultural heritage and Europa Nostra's list of the most endangered cultural monuments. The department urged the relevant circus of Baku not to distort the historical facts as well as to ensure the preservation of the Armenian historical and cultural monuments under the control of Baku, particularly ensuring the visit of the International Observation Mission for the purpose of monitoring the Armenian monuments in the territory of Artsakh. 
This time, China raised an issue on the preservation of Armenian cultural heritage. The second session of the National Cultural Heritage Alliance Council was held in Qingdao People's Republic of China. As a founder country, the delegation of our country also participated in the session. The representative of our delegation drew the attention of the participating countries to the many cases of continuous destruction, identity distortion, and appropriation of the Armenian cultural heritage with the history of thousands of years. The need to strengthen international mechanisms was emphasized in the field of cultural heritage protection, including increasing the capacity of UNESCO. In that context, the importance of the full and effective implementation was also emphasized of the UNESCO Hague Convention of 1954. It should be noted that Baku periodically tries to present the Armenian culture and heritage in different platforms. The workshop issues of the history of Shirvan has started at the National Academy of Sciences held by the initiative of the Gerhard Scientific and Analytical Foundation. The goal is to reveal the true heritage of the historical Caucasian region based on the studies carried out by scientists and to delete the Bakus authorities, false claims of having thousand-year culture and history in the region. The topic was not chosen by chance because it is no secret for anyone that Baku steals and appropriates the history and culture of neighboring nations and states it as Baku culture with all possible and impossible tools, trying to create their own history and spending quite a lot of money for it. Shirvan is historically and geographically located in a territory of Baku's control today. However, the heritage that has been created in the region for centuries has nothing to do with the term Azerbaijan in a direct sense, said Rupert Ghazarian, director of the Gerhard Scientific and Analytical Foundation. The day of the start of the conference is symbolic because since 2000, June 20 has been marked as World Refugee Day by the decision of the United Nations. Exhibitions in the area of Prince Cesar Orbelian's 14th century palace and adjacent church in Horse village of Yeragis, community of Ayotzor region, have been completed. The ruins of the palace and the adjacent church were cleared from the ground. The foundations of the structure were opened inside and outside many important carved and Human building stones pillar supports were found. In parallel, the works of measurement and preparation of the restoration project of the monument group were carried out. As a result of the exhibitions, many archaeological findings were discovered. Pottery, stone and metal objects, inscriptions and three dozen remarkable child burials made on the ruins of the church were discovered. The book, The State Policy of Vandalism in Azerbaijan, was published in which the atrocities of Baku against the historical and cultural monuments of Artsakh are presented. The book was published under the auspices of the Artsakh Ethnocultural Center of Armenia National Cultural Autonomy of the Krasnodar region. The presentation of the book will take place in the near future. This was all for today. Goodbye.